Okay, guys, so we're back again with the Better Podcast, episode six. Um, we had a short hiatus, but we're back again with another special guest today. Somebody that made a lot of people, including myself, fall in love with football. He was very skillful. I could say that David Beckham of South Africa at the time made his debut in professional football at the age of 15, the youngest scorer in the PSL at the time at the age of 16 for Morocco Swallows. He played for Orlando Pirates. He went to AFCON with Bafana. A free kick specialist. That's why I likened him to David Beckham. And he was one of the just generally most skillful flair players of his generation. Steve Chipa. Like, how are you, my brother? I'm, I'm good, my man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to the Better Podcast. I mean, it's a really, it's a pleasure to speak to you all the way out from the Val. Um, yeah, I just want to, off the bat of it, what, what have you been up to? You know, it's been a while since you, we last saw you on the pitch. So, you know, your fans out there really want to know what, what have you been up to uh, since uh, calling quits? Yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be uh, uh, in the panel of uh, 10 bed. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, but now I was busy with the uh, development. I want to open my my academy so mm. that uh, I can give the young star that we, that we have uh, during my playing time. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, so that obviously will be in the Val, uh, exactly where you came from, right? Yeah, because uh, Val is like uh, Brazil, because uh, <laughs> if, if any star from PSL is from uh, Val. Mm. Uh, I think uh, we keep, if we can keep that that way, we can produce many players at Val. Mm. So but, you say it's the Sao Paulo of, of South Africa. Yeah, obviously. Uh, <laughs> too many players there. Mm. He, uh, even now, can see at Parrot, we have a Renuile mm, mm. Yeah, he's, he's a good player. Uh, I spoke to him uh, before mm. and uh, uh, advising me when when he must pass, when he must uh, <laughs> a treble, because uh, Paris is a big team. Yeah, uh, They can destroy you. Paris is, can destroy you. Mm. He can uh, he building you up, yeah. yeah that, that's why I I spoke to him. Mm. I, I like him very much. Uh, a lot of people are likening him to you actually because I mean you played joint pirates ninety five as a teenager. Uh, you were the last one to actually wear the number ten jersey at pirates. So you were you were a big deal for maybe the younger audience that don't aren't familiar with your career. Um, I think you've played over 200 professional games for them from your teenage years till I think about 28, 29, you know, when you, you moved on. Um, but what, what advice, like, I know you said you spoke to him, but like yeah. what advice would you give to him? Because he's a young player, you know, even the national team, Bafana coach is looking at him now. He's seeing if he can keep that, 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 that form and, and, and momentum. But you were there also at the time. And I'm sure if you look back at it, maybe you would have wanted to do some things differently because even yourself, you could say, you didn't reach your full potential as a footballer. Sure. So what, what, what advice would you give to him now as somebody that's definitely in the same shoes, come from the same area and everything? Yeah, I, I spoke to him. I, I, I tell him that you must relax. You must in, not in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he obviously he's a youngster, he's a celebrity now. <laughs> this thing is going to come with, the, he's going to get a big hit. You see, <laughs> yeah. he, he must relax. Uh, mm. He plays soccer, focus on soccer. Mm. And sometimes uh, when you play in the in the field, you, you you can't listen to the coach. You are you are you are the coach when you in the, enter the field. You are the coach. You are the captain. Mm. Uh, the decision you make is you. It's not the coach. Mm. Yeah, the uh, parents and uh, you know uh, they like uh, players who have a skill. Mm. If you can win the supporters on on the parents, then you 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 you, you play every game. Mm, mm. Yeah, I mean that is interesting because Pirates Chiefs are known of the teams that you know, have a lot of supporters. Like look at the derby. You say a funny thing of, don't listen to the coach. The coach said the same thing. He's like, I can't give instructions sure. to play in the derby. You can't hear me. Sure. You know what I mean. So basically, what you're saying is to is to have independent thinking. Sure, of, of sure. Just, okay, it's interesting. So, yeah, go, going through to your career, um, what would you say you would have done differently if you could change things? If there's anything. Yeah, uh, you see, uh, my career, uh, 
the problem I, I made is uh, to not go to school to finish the the, the school. Is mm. that is a problem, and mm. I don't like to the young start to, to make the same mistake we did. Mm. Uh, I played uh, soccer, but uh, the problem is if I, I was. Uh, focusing school and uh, football, maybe it was a, maybe t- t- total different. Uh, I, I, I didn't finish the school because of uh, soccer. I love I love soccer, and uh, mm. uh, the problem was uh, we were playing Africa, and when we playing Africa, we we going uh, f- four days before. So just to contextualize, you saying you were playing professional football while you should have been at school. Yes. Okay. And I started uh, any when I was at school. <laughs> yeah, the problem is we were playing Africa, and then we were leaving early uh, four days before Africa, and we come back after four days again because mm-hmm. the plane uh, are not uh, moving like here yeah, in South, South Africa. I could be going to Congo. Yeah, like that. That's the problem, and uh, I can see that uh, I'm I'm staying behind with the school work. That's why I, I I told myself no, I must focus with the. Soccer. soccer. Mm-hmm. One thing I can uh, focus with two <laughs> because I like this soccer. That's yes. why I focus in the so- soccer. Yes. Then it give me the results of a good player today. I would imagine that the results of the soccer was also important for you because, like you said, you were earning money yeah. and you were bringing money home and maybe to buy stuff for yourself, which was exciting. If I may ask, how much money were you earning in '95 in that that time? No, it's always I was earning a small uh, salary. Stipend. Yeah, I was getting a, a peanuts there. Yeah. It's always. Maybe I was, I was getting eight, nine hundred and forty-seven. Rand. Forty-seven rand. Yeah, but I mean, and, you were. Ninety-four. T- Schoolboy, so I can understand. But then going to pirates. Uh, Let's say your first contract. But they, would, uh, they 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 gave me an increase. They gave me an increase, but what with. Uh, the the salary was one thousand two hundred and forty rand, sixty five Yeah, but you're still also a schoolboy, so I could understand. Yeah, yeah uh, at at at, at Paris, I can I, I can't tell you my first salary mm-hmm. because they, they, I got a lot of money before I play. Okay. Yeah. Do Mr. you think it was a problem? No, uh, they they want me to to play for Paris. Okay. And I was earning one thousand at Solos. Okay. And Mr. Koza gave me six thousand check to buy a cold drink. <laughs> <laughs> to buy a cold drink. Yeah, that's why I went to Paris. Because well, who I, else was after you then? Yeah. Who else was after you? Uh, Soilos, Chiefs, mm. and with Bengasis. Okay. But uh, uh, Paris, uh, they showed me the money. Mm. Yeah, that's why I went to Paris. I played for Paris. So that was the most expensive cold drink at the 6, time. Six thousand. Six thousand. Wow, that must have been taste amazing, eh? Uh, <laughs> and. Um, Second time they gave me five thousand. Mm. Where is, is, is where I started to open my account at the bank. Mm. But while I was playing for Silos, mm, mm. yeah. Okay, so they were sweetening you up before yes. you, you yeah. joined there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. So how how did that change your life? Because obviously, as a teenager, even when you got to Swallows, you were just playing because you love it. It's, mm. But now you're professional. Sure. How did that change your life? Um, Mentally, did you change your friends? Did you change your behavior, your family life? How did everything change? No, yeah. you know, when we are young, uh, everything is coming like it's very Easy. quickly mm. and very quickly mm. at a young age. And uh, you know, uh, when I uh, grew up, uh, my mother and my father they didn't uh, uh, teach me how to save the money, mm. how to do uh, to to work with the school's uh, work. Mm-hmm. That's why I didn't uh, went to school because my mother and my father mm. they didn't teach me how to uh, uh, invest. Yeah, yeah. And there, 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 there's no, there was no uh, or computer in, in the house. Mm. How can I know the computer? Because there's no computer in the yeah, house. Yeah, at that time, see? yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm asking, like, how did it change? Like, did you, you know, coming from the Val and then earning a lot of money, what changed for you? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, when we were young, everything came so quick. Mm. Fame, uh, fame uh, money, cars. Did you struggle? Care, girls. 
girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I did was, you struggle to deal with it? Like yeah, it? I was young. I was mm. young, and they they came so very quickly. Mm. Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. But I mean, you were a star at Pirates. You, you were, you know, one of the guys, a crowd favorite, like you said. Yeah. Uh, somebody that excited the fans and things like that. So what, what actually went wrong at Pirates? Because you left at a period where you were probably going to be your best, like 28, 29, 30. Why did you leave Pirates? No, like I said, uh, the problem it was money. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was looking for increase. Okay. But the, I, I think uh, there was no agreement between me and Mr. Koza. And uh, that time I wanted to play soccer. Mm. So I went to Marzbeck and they pay me a lot of money. Can you say how much? Yeah, a lot of money. They, they, even the salary fee. Mm. Uh, it, must, it was my first time to get that salary fee in my career. How much was that? 250 And your monthly salary at the time? 35 35. Yeah, but I signed, uh, signed two years, three years at, at, at Marisbeck. Okay. One, so, one season was 250. Yeah. Yeah, so that's actually the similar situation now of what happening to Lord. He was there for like almost 10 years. And we heard, yeah, you wanted an increase and mm. the increase wasn't coming. And now we're going to sundowns. Mm. So obviously you you understand that situation know, more than yeah. others. And uh, I, 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 I told them about, about Lord. Uh, when he went to Sundowns, mm. I said you want money, mm. you want money because he's got he's got friends at Sundowns and they talk. Mm. You see, he want to be like their, their friend. Yeah, you yeah. See? I get that, you. That's a problem mm. that I have uh, at Paris. But I, I didn't want to to leave Paris. Mm. Uh, Paris, to the, uh, I'm still local here today because of all of Paris. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to uh, leave Paris. I, I wanted to to, to give me, me increase then. I play soccer. Are you surprised at what's happened to Pirates so like over the, the last maybe 10 years or so? Um, I think, okay, they're winning trophies and stuff. They're maybe not as bad as sure. Chiefs. Yeah, not, yeah. But I mean, they haven't really contested for the title. Like we, we, we the last time they won, I think, was under Root Kral, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Are you surprised at how they've fallen behind Sundowns in a way? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not surprised because uh, 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 Sundowns they have a uh, plan. They plan. They have plan every, every year. They have plan. Yeah. They collect 15 points <laughs> before. Then they went. They go to Africa. Yeah. When they come back again, they collect 15 points. Yeah. And uh, Pirates is a big team. Mm. They have. They, they should have a structure every every year. Mm -hmm. And not changing too many coaches. So that is a problem. They came with the another style of European style, and mm. here we're playing a, a castle style. Mm. Yeah, that's why they, they, they have a problem there. European coaches with the, uh, our style of mm. playing football. I mean, I think one of the issues, maybe that time, your, when you were at Pirates to year now, is that perhaps the coaches don't have too much say over which players come in. I'm sure you weren't even signed by the coach. You know what I mean? So do you think that is an issue? Because at Sundowns, we know the coach says, okay, I want Lodge. He comes in. Maybe the, the sporting director says, okay, this player, do you want him? He says yes or no. So the coach has like a, a control of who he comes in. Yeah. Do you think that's a problem maybe at Chiefs and Pirates? Because the coach has just come to the training pitch and he says, hey, yeah, Steve is here now. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, th th uh, that, that's true. Yeah. Because uh, uh, at the big teams, uh, it's only the coach who signed the player. Mm -hmm. Is the, it should be. Yeah, mm. but is, is the managers, the the owner mm. of the team? Because is, football is a business. The supporters who come in, come in the stadium, they bring the money. Mm. I think this is the problem of bringing the coaches, the players, main players, and the coach that doesn't like the, the players. You see, this is a problem. Yeah, it's ending fighting with the manager, with the coach. Mm. Yeah, Chiefs is a big team, but I, I'm surprised we, why they perform like this. Why do you think it is? I think uh, they don't, they don't, they don't like to buy players and the expensive one, mm. yeah, quality players, mm. because this is a, a big team. Mm. You see. I mean, look, if, this, if you look at it, they have signed, you know, like certain players, like let's say Yusuf Mott was in Bafana at the time, Ashley Dupree, there was a lot of excitement, but I think that maybe don't... Uh, Combo. 
they don't combine well you know yeah. what i mean mm. but anyway moving on from that um you know you you say something very interesting of like the kasi style no? sure. kasi style of football do you think enough is being done like to to honest that talent because like okay, i'm from cape town for sure. example um we have like you know what you guys have here the gdl and stuff like that but in the kasi i don't think they have those like very structured development systems where you can join a club sure. you can de- develop by some coaches and and you know become feeder uh, teams for your chiefs your pirates your sundowns so like specifically where you from do you think there's enough being done to because you want to start your own academy so do you think there's enough being done No, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. That's why I want to open my academy yeah, because uh, here in South Africa uh, we don't have uh, quality players from the development, and uh, we're lacking o- o- on strikers. We don't mm. have strikers in South, in South Africa. Even if striker is good for big team, mm. but when we're playing with a team from outside Africa, mm. the, the striker doesn't perform. Mm, mm. That is a problem we have here in South Africa. Uh, if you can uh, get uh, quality players, developing uh, players from a uh, grassroots, mm. I think this, this this that thing can help uh, uh, South African uh, people with the players. But I uh, explain how somebody like you made it into the professional rank. If you fresh from Kasi, how did you make it? Maybe there are people out there that's now in the Kasi right now mm. and trying to figure out. Yeah, how did you do it? Uh, me as as. The, uh, I was playing for a squad in Valle, Valle Province squad. We were playing in the two provinces. There was a tournament called Coca-Cola, under 16, mm-hmm. where the, the coach select the players from each uh, squad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they select, select me there. The, we, were, we were the two players, mm-hmm. but after the two, we cut, they cut uh, 10 players, then 22 squad was supposed to be the national team mm-hmm. then the rest was history so it was on the 17 national team and then you were in the system yeah for example after Suelos Perez <laughs> Bafana yeah. also yeah. but yeah going to Bafana you represented South Africa at 2000 AFCON yes Kino Faso if yeah. I'm not mistaken uh, you were in a glittering squad at the time coach yeah. Trot Moloto um Also a bronze medal, which yeah. is the last time South Africa got uh, after, the bronze medal. After 20, 20 years or 22? 24. 24 years. After 24 now, years. This year. After, yeah, after 24 years. So uh, just share your experience of being with that squad. You were the youngest player at 22. Belen Omvete was 23. Um, so, you, had, you know, it's different to the squad that we have now where, you know, it's dominated by local players. You were there. You were just like... You know, there's a small boy uh, sure. amongst all these big players overseas. So how was it to be part of that experience? Yeah, it, it helped me a lot uh, to get uh, more experience because uh, <coughs> every day we're learning, we're learning every day. I play with the highest players, hmm. Lucas, John Schuz, Michel, Teresa, Hans Fong. Yeah, I, get, I got a lot of experience there. Uh, but I wanted to play. I want to tell you what was nice. It was nice squad. Nice mm. squad. We were happy. Mm. And even though we were missing home, but we were happy when we were together. Mm. Uh, I remember last time we were, we were playing, we wanted to, uh, the guys to lose, to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I was in West Africa now, yeah. 24 years later. Yeah. So I can only imagine what you experienced 24 years ago in Burkina Faso. Uh, it was in Nigeria and uh, Ghana. It was Nigerian gun. Yeah. Yeah, not uh, Burkina Faso. It was Nigeria, okay. Nigeria gun. Afcon was uh, uh, hosted Split. by uh, Ghana and uh, Nigeria. Okay. So we were playing Ghana. Sometimes we were playing to uh, Nigeria. And how difficult was that? No, oh, against uh, Nigeria, same final. Yes, yes. <laughs> From the airport, they told us a uh, three zero here. My father found a zero, Nigeria three. Yeah. And uh, they beat us two zero. But it was a strong squad uh, uh, in Nigeria. But can you recall any of the things that happened off the field, like that no, you that you can, you can will never forget? Yeah, no, we were, we were playing uh, tennis, tennis uh, soccer. Yeah, yeah. Table tennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were playing table tennis, snooker, mm. playing dice. We were playing dice. Mm-hmm. We were gambling there, <laughs> and we were gambling with a, a dollar. 
Mm. You know how much there was the dollar. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was a next squad. Uh, mm. That's why we went to uh, semi final and uh, lost against uh, uh, Nigeria. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, a part of the 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 some of the issues back then in Afcon was like the bad things that happened. That's what I was trying to say. Was there nothing that happened to you off the field? Because for example, I remember like some people saying that stuff got stolen at the airport. Like there's always like crazy things happening off the field. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It was a nice trip. Yeah. No. Nothing. It's only the, when we arrived at Nigeria, yeah. when we were going to play in Nigeria. It's very also, hostile. Yeah, we were sleeping at the Ghana, but when we played Simfa, they say Simfa is playing for Nigeria. When we went to uh, Nigeria at the uh, airport, yeah. yeah, they were told us, yeah, yeah, three. So the fans came to yeah, create yeah, you just yeah. to intimidate you. Even, even the, the workers from the airport, they say, <laughs> They say give you a stamp uh, or lap, uh, your, lap, your, 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 your passport. They say, Mafana, Fana, zero. Nigeria, three. <laughs> yeah, I remember Alman yeah. Alman actually said that. Um, yeah. When we spoke to him recently, he said that there was a big intimidation factor and that perhaps created, you know, somewhat of a rivalry between Pafana and Nigeria. Um, and it's funny that you know, the semi-final stage now 24 years later, it was again Nigeria. Yeah. But at the time, did you think Bafana, Bafana would wait 24 years to get to that same stage? Or did you think that, you know, Bafana is on a rise to dominate Africa? Like at that time when you were playing there? No, I, I think the uh, this thing that made us to play good football because we were mixed with the overseas players and they, they were playing uh, mm -hmm. at that, that time. And yeah. here, the, the, the PSL... Uh, league was the uh, it has level okay than than today. Why would you say that the PSL is higher back then than compared to now? It was we were playing a good football. Sundowns, any team was good. Smaller with, teams. Yeah, they were all, small team. All all the, all the teams were playing for PSL. Mm. That's why we went to Nigeria and came with the bronze mm. because it was a, a strong team. PSL was playing the highest, highest level mm. like than, uh, today. That's why today uh, when the Bafana final uh, uh, went to semi-final, mm. we were surprised <laughs> because uh, we know the PSL uh, the, performance, the performance is, is poor. Okay. Yeah. With the exception of Sundowns, you would say? Because you told me yeah, you 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 enjoy watching. Some. Yeah, the Sundowns they playing good football. They play good football. They signing uh, good players, not in only here in South Africa, even Europe, mm. and they mix well uh, when they together. Mm. I mean, now look, we uh, we're going into another international break soon. Bafana, the coach. I don't know if you saw the squad. He just announced uh, a new squad. There's a new player in Patrick Maswangani. I don't think, I don't know if you've watched he's him. He's played for Paris. Eh? Yes, he yeah. was at Super Sport the, last season. He's been, left in the, yeah, he's been in the middle of the Yeah, he's yeah. watching him in the derby. He's a yeah. left footed player. Yeah. Um, he's one of the 10 uh, new faces, so to say. Um, we're going to play Algeria and Andorra at the end of the month in Algeria. And this is to prepare us for Nigeria. World Cup. World Cup. World Cup Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria yeah. and uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is always difficult for us. I yeah, I know. Yeah. So, uh, look, I mean, there's, let's let's go into Maswangani in particular. Uh, what I'm sure you watched some of the dog. Yeah, yeah. what, what do you think of him? Yeah, he's a good player, Maswangai. Mm. But uh, the problem is that the players, when they play a big stage, they can't perform like they mm. perform at, at home. That's the problem. Mm. Uh, that, uh, of course, you want a player who's got the big heart, you not know, the mentally yeah. and physically. But they obviously need these opportunities to to get to that level because that's what coach said. He said, I liked what I saw from Patrick and so and so and so and so from the Soweto Derby. But now let's see if he can play like that in Bafana because Bafana's a higher level than, you know, the PSL. Yeah, like, like I said, uh, if he can relax and uh, play his normal game, I think he can get a chance to play for one of Bafana mm. Bafana because uh, the problem is if the players, the the yeah, teammates, teammates, if can they mingle together nicely, mm. I think he can he can perform. But the problem is they must combine together. Mm. You see, and not then, not individual players. But then mm. maybe we must get Mofo King also in the team because they're combining nicely for Pirates. 
Yeah, but uh, I don't think they can put him now in the national team because you know they, they, we have got bad habit here in South Africa. When you are young, yeah, they say you can't play, you can't play. But you, you, you see the players is, do, is doing well. Yeah, that is a problem. But but now the thing that's different between your generation and our generation is that when there was under 17, under 19, under 20, under 23, and you guys played. I'm a gluk gluk. You played in. You played Afcons. You played Olympics, and then you went to Bofana. We don't have that anymore. So do you think that is maybe the problem of why our football is not improving? Because these li- these lighties are not like playing competitive level at, at you like you did. Sure. How much did they help you? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think uh, the problem is uh, if you can love what are you, what are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Here? Uh, we enjoy football. Me, I was I was enjoying my football. I like soccer. I like football. I know only football. That's why I, I perform like this. But I'm saying that playing in the junior national team, it must have prepared you for the senior national team. Yes. Because we don't have that. We play qualifiers, done, and then you never... never and uh, last, uh, I can't remember when I, I watched uh, under-17 national team and under-20. He's never, they're never playing. It's only Banyana Banyana. Uh, Bafana Bafana. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sundowns Af- <laughs> yeah. Africa. Yeah, you see, or oh, Sundowns ladies. Yeah, and that's what the coach has been saying. He's been saying like, you can't build a national team by yourself. I can't like find Chipa then. I can't drive to Val and sure. go find Chipa and put. Sure. If he must come through mm. the system, mm. you know what sure. I mean. You're right. But yeah, what if you when you watched Afcon? I'm sure you also you enjoyed it and whatever because we came. We did really yeah. Disney really well. Mm. Uh, where where do you think or which players impressed you the most from that that month? Uh, uh, obvious uh, Temba Zwani, oh. local keeper, Ronza, Ronza Williams here. Yeah. Mm. I will keep her and um, the Mvala at the mm. back with the uh, Kekana. Kekana, yeah. yeah, the Kekana. The back four mm. was Mudau. Yeah. Uh, the left back. Uh, uh, Mudiba. Mudiba, yeah. yeah. And uh, the other player who surprised me it was uh, Mahopa. Really? Yeah, Mahopa, he played very well. He's also a Kasi boy, you know? He comes yeah. straight from uh, Kasi sure. football to the PS. He, play, he played uh, good football. I never thought he would play like that. So you, you, you like him now after the Yeah, Zephyr. but he must improve. He must improve by with basics. He doesn't have basics. And he's a big player. He played for big teams. So Funny yeah. thing is, off the record, the coach said, like, he's got lots of potential, but he needs somebody to focus with him individually. Because you see, sometimes the first touch is, you know what I mean? Do you think there, there's enough time, like at big teams, to to maybe fix him? Yeah, there's, there's a time. There's too much, too many time, too much, <laughs> too much time for, for or improve, to make my hopper to improve. If we can, we, we can get, touch. we can get a striker like Benny. Mm. Maybe he, he teach him to how to finish, how to trap the ball, how to. Make those 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 run, yeah. We yes. see, yeah. I think uh, uh, it did help him. So, what I did know. you like about him in the tournament? Like when you watched him, what like really like you you like this guy? No, he's got the uh, passion uh, uh, with the football, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I can see he's ready to learn mm. because he's a, he's a striker. Mm. He, he, you know, Makopa, he, he can he can play good football when. He, They, they can sign him in overseas in England. Mm. He can play Mahopa. Mm. You see, but other players who, who, who play more than Mahopa, who's better than Mahopa? Yeah. They can't play overseas. Why? They can't play. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is over, over, Overseas, they want player who play who have uh, basics. Mm. You see, Mahopa, mm. he can get the, the, those basics. Mm. He can play for, for overseas, especially in England. A lot of a lot of coaches said that like. If he had to go like maybe overseas after Barocca, yeah. he would have been playing in Germany, sure. France, or yes, yeah. any by now because yeah, he, right. would have, he would have developed very quickly. Sure. Um, but another player I just wanted to ask you about um, also played in your position as a right wing, which is Percy. He didn't have a great Afcon, and he got a lot of criticism. And the coach even said, "I'm not going to pick Percy because of how the public like hammered him because they said Percy was so upset because." 
there was a lot of criticism about him. I'm sure you've been in that position before where you're, you're not so on form and the fans are hammering you and stuff. Um, is it difficult and how do you overcome that? No, you must, you must tell yourself that uh, I'm going to improve. You not, don't talk to a coach. Is you who's playing in the field, not the, the coach. Mm. I think you can t tell, uh, tell him, I'm going to play good football today. Mm. Then uh, he can perform. He's a, he's a good player. Mm. I think he's got the problem beside football. Mm. Outside football, he got the problem. The way I, I, I saw when he play up corn. Yeah, it's not the pace like, like we know. Mm. Yeah. So you think it's still important to get him? back to a normal self for the future of, of this team? Yeah, uh, even uh, during the, the, the AFCON, mm. they, they were watching, we were watching game, the other play, people, they say, they must take out pieces. I said, no, you must stay in the field. And we uh, got penalty, mm. got penalty because of, of, of him. Mm. He's, a, he's, a, he's a clever boy. And he also, what people don't notice is that he never loses the ball. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And that's very important in international football because a lot of the fans look at it and say, ah, oh, we must get this one and that one. He's got so much skills. But what is important is holding on to position. You know what I mean? Yeah, and the, the other problem is, I think the, the, the system that is, that was, is yeah, playing uh, is different than uh, 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 here in Bafana. That's why I say to your, your teammates, Mm. they can make you a good player. Mm. That's why, I mean, I think maybe one of the reasons we did well is because you're talking about the system thing. And if our, if our team is dominated by one team, which is Mama Lodi Sana, sure. it becomes quite easy. But would you say, uh, you, you've been in the professional football setup. Look, coach sa brings in a lot of players from Sundowns, but can you still give coach credit for what he's done with this team? Or do you credit Sundowns? You a former profession, you will know better than all of us. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's the coach. Okay. At Sundowns, mm -hmm. uh, you can give the coach the credit because... And the national team coach, Bruce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, Bruce, uh, they helped me. They mm -hmm. helped me, uh, Elman, mm -hmm. and the other people who, 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 who intervened. Uh, the, yeah, mm -hmm. they make they, they tell him who must put who and who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you saw, you saw Rulan, Rulan was there. Mm. at the uh, Egypt mm. at the uh, yeah he was at the, the previous games before like going into AFCON as well like things like that but I'm saying now what is the role of a national team coach then like you've been to a major tournament you've played in the national team how much influence do they have in how you play and things like that because you must select players from clubs but how much influence do they have in, in teaching you things and and then yeah, how you play? The, the, the coach uh, is, is to advise you in the field. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not to tell you how to play. Okay. Because he, this is my system. This is where you're playing. This is, you know. Yeah, you, we, we listen to the coach at the dressing room. Mm -hmm. But when we enter the field, we forget about the coach. Mm -hmm. We are the coaches. And <laughs> forget about the coach because sometimes the system is not working. Yeah, yeah. And we can't go and ask the coach outside the field. We must change that, that system yeah. same time in the field. Okay, and finally, it's just like, you've, do you think there's any players that's maybe being overlooked for the national team over the recent years? Like, is there any player that you look at like, why is this guy not in Bofana? There are too many players, eh? The the legs of uh, Mayo, mm. the striker. He's in now. Yeah, I'm happy mm. when he, he, they can put my hope outside, mm. and then t they, they can tell my hope to look at Mayo, who's, mm. because you le we can learn from I can learn from my teammate. Mm -hmm. Like me, when I was playing, I was learning from uh, Tom Gumeni. Mm. Tom Gumeni was always advising me. There's a, there's an important thing that maybe you can also relate to. Coach said he didn't pick him for Afcon, no? Mayo. Yeah. Because he scores goals, okay? He scores goals. He's mm. sharp. He scores goals. But he's not involved in the whole 90 minutes. He says, you know, you must come fetch the ball. You must you must do something. You know, you make the game. Don't let the game pass you. Sure. And you you didn't hide away from the ball. If you yeah. weren't getting the ball, you would go run back to... You know what I mean? Yeah. How important... Is that difficult to, to, to learn? Because he said, Mayo must learn to, to make the game. Not... Wait for the game to come to you. No, I, I, I don't think it's, 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 it's true. Mm. Mayo is a good player. Mm. He, he's, maybe it's an excuse that, that he wants. Maybe want it's the play. games he watched. 
people uh, players are not the same mm. players other players they can perform mm. uh, but they, they can, you can't see him in the 90 minutes but they can they can win the game for you yeah like example you remember John Shus yes you can't see him can't see him mm. in the game but when he, he score You was it where makes a difference, yeah. yeah. So, you, do you think was John the the best player you ever played with in your yeah, career? Yeah, just yeah, good player. By far, There, there's no player I can play like Shoes Mushui. Mm. Yeah, mm. I can they, I can hear uh, calling the players there, but then John Shoes Mushui was a faster faster player. Mm. Okay, for just to end this off, um, obviously it was lovely just to hear from you and speak from you. But um, yeah, like, what is your 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 plans over the next you know few months or few years that you want to achieve? Um, I know you said you wanted to open up an academy. I know you bus busy with your own businesses and things. You know, uh, a lot of people say, ah, oh, is he not coaching or whatever, whatever. What is your plans for the next few years? Just to in this yeah, way? like I said before, I want to open my academy. But uh, now I'm 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 ready to to coach. Mm-hmm. I want to coach. Mm. At least uh, if I can uh, coach uh, under 15. Mm. Yeah, because uh, the coach is the, is the is what we're doing in the, in the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, th- I don't think I can have a problem with the coaching. Okay, so you obviously first in depth you must go to your SAFA badges and then obviously plow that into your academy. But um, it was really nice to hear from you, see that you're doing well. Um, and yeah, I, I hope you come back soon and... Uh, You enjoyed the the chat. Okay, Mimi. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, and uh, nice to having me. So yeah, guys. Um, end of episode six. Obviously, a lovely chatting to Steve. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back with episode seven very, very soon. Thank you for joining in. Tango. Yo, guys. For the freshest football content, follow Ten Bets South Africa on Facebook, X, Instagram, and YouTube.